Wolfpack win, baby. Four to nothing over the Providence Bruins to advance to the next round of the playoffs the divisional finals to face off against the hershey bears next but what a game for the pack tonight as they went in there and they took care of business and they look good a lot of great performances from all different players zach jones had himself a very very good game turner elson just doing just taking care of business just taking care of business looking good johnny broadway johnny brzezinski had himself a night. Jake LeCision, too. Can you believe it? But we're going to go in depth and talk about this game. Before we do, leave a like on the video if you do enjoy. Subscribe if you guys are new, especially if you're Ranger fans. We're covering the pack here, though, too. Because why not? The Rangers are out of the playoffs. Might as well start covering the pack for their playoff run as it just keeps on going. And Chris Knobloch is doing something special in Hartford right now with the wolf pack but let's talk about this game as hartford took a early penalty from anton bleed that ended up being killed off though thankfully the hartford wolf pack on the pk did a very good job tonight which we'll talk about later but they wouldn't take long to make it one to nothing as pioneer emmy with a nice little feed from behind the net over to carpenter carpenter finds elsa front and he taps it home to make it a one to nothing game after the goal providence started to put some pressure on but there were some nice defensive plays from the Wolf Packs. They were stopping a lot of odd man rushes that they had coming their way. Dylan Garan was stopping everything coming his way as well, which was very nice. But I liked the I liked the way that they played in the defensive zone as well. They really were doing a good job of getting in the passing lanes and forcing some weak shots, especially high at the blue line. There's a lot of weak shots, and they also put pressure on the uh, point presence as well. But Bussy then robs Jones at the doorstep after a good passing play by Brozinski and Elson. Zach Jones had a lot of good chances in this game. He looked very good, like I mentioned earlier on. Harford continued to put the pressure on. Brozinski was close to making it a 2-0 game, and the game was a little bit physical. It definitely had an edge to it, which there was a big hit in this game, which we'll talk about later, but... I really like the way that the Wolfpack also were carrying the puck through the neutral zone. I thought they were doing a very good job of that, carrying it up as a unit, making some nice plays at the blue line to carry it in instead of just forcing it in deep and trying to go after it, chasing it that way. You saw kind of, uh, you, you saw a bit of that from guys like Will Coley, but that's really about it. Uh, most of it was them carrying it up as a unit. Grand then makes a huge save. But Carpenter gets called for a hooking penalty. Hartford with another good kill right there. Jones with a nice takeaway to stop an opportunity for Providence. And I thought Hartford played a very good first period despite shots being 10-7 to 7 in favor of the Providence Bruins. I thought that they did very good. And Jones can't stop mentioning him because he was so good. Henriksen sets up Trevino for a solid chance. That gets denied. Uh, Graham makes two big stops in front of him. So... Very good uh, work from Dylan Garan. Again, anything that came his way, he was stopping tonight. Bleed got denied at the doorstep for an opportunity, but the Wolfpack would make it 2 to nothing afterwards as Gettinger gets denied, and then Jake LeCision comes in, and he gets the rebound. It goes over Bussy, and it goes in. They review to see if the net was off when he buried it, but it did not matter, and it counts as a goal. Gettinger and Lockwood get the assist on that goal. Providence gets called for a high sticking penalty so they go to the power play and that power play was horrendous as Providence got a shorthanded opportunity and that's pretty much all that came from it there was no setting up in the offensive zone for the power play they just did not look good at all Trevino then goes off for a hooking penalty after and another big kill there by the Wolfpack bleed then with another good chance following the PK he couldn't end up getting that, but they would make it three to nothing as Brozinski gets a chance all alone in front of the net. That gets denied. Carpenter gets the rebound opportunity though and snipes it. And Bussy was very pissed after that. Emerson picks up an apple with Brozinski on that goal. That made it three to nothing for the Wolfpack. And then there was four on four play as Kalinuk took a penalty and then Bowers threw a late hit to negate it. So we go four on four, but. Another good period, in my opinion, for the Wolfpack. Yet again, I thought they got a little bit sloppy in the defensive zone. Offensively, though, they looked very good. They looked very good moving the puck well in the offensive zone. They spent a good amount of time in general this game in the offensive zone throughout the entirety of it. But again, the defense definitely let up a couple of 
a couple chances here and there, which was not good, but I digress. We go to the third period. Lockwood early on throws a huge hit on Callahan, and yeah, that got him kicked out of the game. That was a awful, awful hit by him. I hope Callahan is okay. He had to be taken off on the stretcher. That was just a really bad hit there from Lockwood, and I'd imagine a suspension is going to come from it after Clendenning just got suspended too. So Hartford, yeah, uh, they, they like getting in trouble with the Department of Player Safety, clearly. Pulley then with two big shorthanded chances that get denied, but Hartford did a very good job killing off the major, and there were some nice stops from Garand here and there, but for the most part, the Wolfpack didn't really allow a lot of opportunities. Again, they were doing a very good job with blocking some opportunities and getting in the lane, uh, getting in the lanes. Latiri then it goes off for a holding penalty, and the second power play looked better, but unfortunately could not convert yet again. Gettinger and Elsa get a two-on-one. That gets broken up. Coley then almost taps one in front of the net, but it would be four to nothing as Jake Lecision buries the empty net goal. Elson and Gettinger get the apples on that one. Hendrickson then goes off for an interference. After that, Brzezinski fires wide on a shorthanded breakaway opportunity. And then Providence takes a tripping penalty at the end. And the penalty gets uh, killed off there. But it did not matter as they move on to face Hershey on Thursday. And the shots in the third, 12 to 11 in favor of Providence. A lot of that was thanks to the five-minute major. Otherwise, I thought Hartford played a very good third period. Shots in the game. 32 apiece. The main problem really was definitely Hartford being in the box. I guess it didn't, it wasn't really a problem considering the fact that they played good uh, on the PK and Dylan Garan made a lot of big saves. But you would have liked to have seen them take a little less penalties. That's for damn sure. Especially that hit there by Lockwood. I, I'm just, I'm not happy about that. I'm not happy about that at all. You can't be doing that. And. It's going to be a suspension. It is easily going to be a suspension. And I just feel bad for Callahan. I feel bad for the guy that he had to be taken off on the stretcher and everything. But hard right turn there. Very good effort for uh, for the Wolf Pack, though. Dylan Garan was easily the star of the show. He made a lot of big saves. There was that one stop with the glove that he made where it was just like, are you kidding me? Yeah, and he picks up his second shutout in this playoff run as well he has looked very good thus far turner elson i thought had a very good game i raved about zach jones of course but turner elson very good game for him johnny brzezinski very good game jake lecision i can't believe it had a very good game the only one that really didn't stand out to me in terms of everyone on the roster as a whole was really libor hayek where he had opportunities that he was fanning on and he was just making some weird plays i i don't know it, i'm kind of accustomed to it watching the rangers often wolfpack fans you could tell me if you assuming you watch the games often you could tell me in the comments if he does that a lot for the pack too but i'm kind of accustomed to watching him fan on opportunities when he winds up for a clapper and just making some poor bonehead plays but he was really the only one that I thought really didn't stand out or play that great, but everyone else I thought was very good. I thought Bobby Trevino had a pretty solid game. He had like one really, one misplay. I think it was in the second period that led to a chance for Providence the other way. But that's really all that I can remember from it. Coley didn't get on the score sheet, but definitely had a solid night in my opinion. I, I just can't say anything too negative. I really can't. I thought they played pretty good, but now they move on to round three and then hopefully we're talking about them going on a deep run all the way to the finals so still got this round got another round after to get to the finals but let's hope that they could do it that's going to be it for me keeping it short keeping it simple don't have much else to say with the game i unfortunately can't pull up the the chart of stats like i could for uh for nhl games so that's the unfortunate part but let me know your thoughts on the game if you did end up watching in the comment section because I, most people, I, I don't know how many people actually watch it. You're probably watching just getting an update from me on how the Wolfpack did, which I would appreciate if you did leave a like if you did enjoy this recap. Subscribe if you guys are new. Turn on your notifications so you know when I upload a video or go live next. That is going to be it for me. I will see you guys in the next one. Let's go Wolfpack.